Hey, what's going on fellow traders? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, one of my most uh, favorite indicator, which is the Bollinger Bands. Okay, it's a very powerful indicator because it is an indicator that uh, you can use for both trading ranges as well as trend trading. Okay, there are not a lot of indicators out there in the market which allows you to trade, you know, uh, the trend as well as the range. Okay, so what happens is that a lot of uh, new traders, uh, they use it wrongly. Okay, they use a, a trending indicator in a consolidating market or they use a consolidating uh, indicator in the uh, trending market. Okay, so what's good about this Bollinger Band is that uh, you can use it in both. Okay, so uh, as I go into this uh, video, tutorial i will show you how you can actually use it for both uh, ranges as well as for trend trading okay so in this video what you will learn are four things okay the first thing would be uh, what bollinger band is okay i want to show you uh, what the indicator is how it works okay in case uh, you're new to trading and you do not know about this bollinger band indicator okay then i want to highlight some uh, you know mistake that i see a lot of new traders make okay they use the bollinger band wrongly okay so uh, if this is the first time watching uh, you know a video like this about uh, bollinger band make sure you do not do it this way okay you do not take uh, what i share to out of context okay you apply it correctly okay because the worst thing you can do is to watch a video and uh, you know apply it in, in the wrong way and then you know come up with a conclusion that uh, this doesn't work Okay, uh, you want to make sure that you apply it correctly. Okay, so I, I also show you how to use the Bollinger Band to find explosive trades. And lastly, I'll end off by showing you how to uh, manage your trades using the Bollinger Band as a trailing stop. Okay, now if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of content to help you become a better trader. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide. Uh, the links in the description. So uh, make sure you download that if uh, you have not. Okay, it's a free guide. It's very comprehensive. It will teach you a trading strategy that has been working very well for us. Okay, so let's go into uh, what Bollinger Band is and how does it work. Okay, so on the charts here, you can see that uh, this is the Bollinger Band indicator. Okay, let me just uh, show it to you. Okay, so uh, this platform that I'm using is actually tradingview.com and it's a free web-based uh, chart, charting platform. So uh, if you do not know that, you want to check it out, you can check that out after this video. So what you do is you just have the, uh, the indicator placed on it. Okay, so in this case, I'm using the default settings, uh, 20 simple moving average and two standard deviation. Okay, this is the typical uh, settings that a lot of brokers uh, or a lot of platforms they actually use. Okay, so uh, when you set it up, you don't really need to uh, adjust it much. Okay, so you should see something like this over here. Okay, you should see the indicator uh, around the price. Okay, so this indicator is actually made out of uh, three things. Okay, first you have the uh, 20 moving average okay in this case we are using using the simple moving average okay and then the next thing we have is the upper band and we have the lower band okay so this upper band is actually plus two standard deviation okay and the lower band is minus two standard deviation okay so this upper and lower band acts as a dynamic support and resistance level okay so it's a very powerful uh, indicator because if you are new as a trader and you can't identify levels properly or uh, you're not too sure how to draw horizontal support and resistance levels then this Bollinger Band will precisely tell you where uh, the market could potentially stop uh, where is the resistance and where is support okay so that's why this indicator is so powerful okay it can show you the volatility of the market as well okay so when you see a very wide uh, Bollinger band, okay, meaning that the distance from the uh, from the upper band to the to the moving average or the distance from the lower band to the moving average is very far, that means that the market is very volatile. Okay. Conversely, if uh, you look at this scenario over here, okay, this is what is known as a Bollinger squeeze. Okay, this means that the market is very um is in a tight range and there's not much volatility and therefore the bands are very tight okay so a bollinger band is very useful because it shows you the volatility as well as gives you dynamic support and resistance levels okay 
So earlier on, I say that the Bollinger Band can be used for both range trading and trend trading. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, very simple. Let's say you are doing a trend trading. Let me just clear this up first. Let's say you are doing trend trading at, in this case. Okay, it's a trend trading because uh, you have a high, sorry, you have a low here first. You have a high, you have a higher low, higher high. Higher low, higher high, higher low. Okay, so this is in a uptrend. Okay, again, if you do not know how to identify this, this is in our free day trading guide. So make sure you download that. Okay, so in this case, um, it's in the uptrend. So you want to buy retracements. So where do you buy? You buy at the lower band. Okay, in fact, if you look left, uh, there's actually some form of market structure over here. Okay, so that's how you use uh, the Bollinger Bands when uh, in a trending market and you are trying to catch retracements. Okay, if you are trying to buy, then buy at the, uh, the lower band. Okay, if you are selling, sell at the upper band. Okay, but just a disclaimer, I'm not asking you to buy every single time price touch the lower band or sell every single time when price touch the upper band. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm saying is that... Uh, after you identify the trend and uh, you kind of really know you want to enter long or short, then you look for a trade setup using the Bollinger Band with the market structure. Okay, that's how you use it. Please do not use it wrongly or take uh, what I say out of context. Okay, now in the case of range trading, it's very simple. Okay, uh, as in the case of this area, okay, let me just maybe clear it up. Okay, as in the case of this area over here, okay, it's a tight range. So, if your analysis is that we are in a range market and you want to buy low and sell high, uh, then you can look for entries to buy at the bottom of the range and look for entries to sell at the top of the range. Okay, so this should be rather straightforward. Okay, you just want to use the resistance to sell and the support uh, to buy. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, so this is how the Bollinger Band works. Okay, and how you can use it. Okay, let's move on to uh, a mistake that I see a lot of new traders make. Uh, in, in, in a sense that they use Bollinger Band in the wrong way. Okay, earlier on, I actually did uh, talk about this briefly. Okay, I said that uh, you do not just want to buy or sell every single uh, time price touches the upper or lower band. So a lot of new traders, when they first start off, what they do is that, uh, you know, they, they watch a video such as this, this video here, which tells them to sell at, you know, the uh, Bollinger Band uh, Upper, upper band and buy at the lower band. So what they do is that uh, they just sell here, sell here, sell here, and then sell here, and then they lose a lot of money, and then they get upset. Okay, so please do not do that. That's the wrong way. Okay, trading is not so simple. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, in our day trading guide, we teach you the MPE strategy. Okay, the M stands for market condition, P stands for price uh, level, and E stands for entry. Okay, so you want to integrate this uh, Bollinger Band into this process here. Okay, you don't just want to uh, blindly short uh, or long at every single level. Okay, uh, we've done this a lot of times. Okay, uh, we, when we first started, we did this. We lost a lot of money. Okay, I hope uh, you do not do this. You take whatever I say to heart because uh, we're going to save you so much money. Okay, so please, if you have a question, you're not clear about something, please leave a comment down below. Uh, my team will do our best to address it okay we'll, we'll reply your comment and we'll tell you you know what you're doing wrongly or if there's anything that uh, you need to pay attention to right but please do not use it this Bollinger Band in this manner okay now let's move on to how do you use Bollinger Band for explosive trades okay so the other way to use the Bollinger Band is so uh, what I call the Bollinger Squeeze okay so as the name uh, let me just spell this out first okay so bollinger band squeeze okay so as the name suggests uh squeeze that means that price squeeze into a tight range okay so if you look at this chart uh you notice that this part over here has a very tight range okay earlier on i explained to you that uh the further away price is from the moving average correct the more volatile it is but in this case it's pretty narrow compared to say uh somewhere here Okay, where the distance is much further. Okay, so in, in this case, we are kind of like in a Bollinger squeeze. Okay, so what usually happens after a Bollinger squeeze is that a price will do a nice breakout. Okay, so you can use this as a form of a 
indicator to tell you that, okay, if there's a breakout, I want to be buying because I will expect a big move up. Okay, so that's how we use a Bollinger Band uh, to find explosive trades. Okay, then after you have entered this trade, I think the next question would be, how do you manage this trade? Okay, because uh, once you enter, you must have a plan to exceed uh, your trades. Okay, you do not just want to let uh, price go in your favor and then not lock in your profit. Then after that, price reverses and you lose all your uh, unrealized profits. Okay, that's not what you want. So how do you use the Bollinger Band uh, to trail your stock? Okay, if you're using the Bollinger Band uh, to trail your stock, then chances are you want to use it in a in a training market where price is really moving. So in this case, the price uh, has been moving very nicely. You have a low over here. Okay, you have a high. You have a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and so on and so forth. So you're in an uptrend. Okay, so in this kind of scenario, if you choose to uh, trail your stop using the Bollinger Band, it is a wise move. Okay, so assuming, let's, let's just assume that you entered here, okay, because this is the bottom of the uh, Bollinger Band, okay, and if you look left, okay, in the uptrend, you want to be buying at off support, so you have a form of market structure here as well as the lower band, so you buy here, okay, so the question is when do you get out? Okay, how do you trail your stop loss so that uh, you are able to lock in the profit when the trend changes? Okay, it's a very simple way to, to, to do it, right? Uh, when price closes below the lower band over here, then you exit. So if you're entering here and you're exiting here, that would be a very, very nice profit. Okay, of course, the market doesn't always move like that. You, you have some times where the market is very choppy, uh, but that's just part of trading. Okay, if you do decide to be a trend trader, uh, then this is something that you have to deal with that uh, you're going to have a lot of trades which uh, go nowhere. But uh, when you do catch a good trade like this, uh, this one trade can easily be worth 1 is to 5 or you know even 1 is to 10. Okay, because uh, you have a very small stop loss and uh, you're riding a big trend up. Okay, so this is how you use the Bollinger Band as a trailing stop. Okay. So let me end off this video by uh, doing a brief recap of uh, whatever I, I shared for this uh, trading tutorial. Okay, now I explained to you what Bollinger Band is. Okay, it's an indicator that is, helps you to see the uh, volatility as well as dynamic support and resistance level. Okay, it's based on the 20 moving pe period average. Uh, you can change it, but normally we use the 20 period moving average and uh, the standard deviation of two. Okay, I also talk about the wrong way of using Bollinger Band, which is just trading every single time, you know, price touches the upper or lower band. Okay, do not trade it this way. Okay, I also show you how to use the Bollinger Band for explosive trades using the Bollinger Band squeeze. Okay, lastly, I end off by sharing with you how to trail your stop. Right, how do you maximize your profits by uh, using the Bollinger Band? So basically, when price close uh, below the lower band, then you get out, right? If you, if you are in a uh, bullish market and you bought, then you want to exit when price uh, breaks below the uh, lower band. But if you're in a bearish market, then you want to exit when price closes above the upper band. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so if you are new, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and uh, we'll do our best to address it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.